Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's a big night tonight. It's the Models for Heroes uh, auction event on uh, IS, the ISM channel. Now um, I'm running a bit late, so I've got to do. I'm doing this. Uh, I want to do this review, so um, it's going to take me into the beginning of the um, auctions. So. There is going to be a little bit of noise from my phone as messages come in um, or you know anything interesting pops up. I'll try and keep that to a minimum but I really need to get this review done because it's an important one um, and it's one that could bring me some more viewers in. So without further ado I'm going to be reviewing the TACOM um, British AP C carrier which is armored personnel carrier um, and it's the obviously it's a British one uh, it's been used a lot uh, all over all over the world and um, this comes with interior so uh, a very very good kit it was extremely popular at launch there were a long, long queues of people with pre-orders waiting for this. Uh, it's been much sought after, um, which is initially why I bought this, because there was just so many people buying it. Um, I thought, wow, I've got to get that, because I, you know, I need to know why so many people are, are, are buying this. Um, so let's go over to the bench. Um, is it small enough? No, no, we better do the, uh, we do the covers first here because, um, so it's got some beautiful box art on the front, um, which Tacom are getting really good at actually. Their box art, I think, has improved um, dramatically the last couple of years. Um, we've got, uh, usual little pictures on the, both sides. Um, a couple of schemes there, and we've got the same picture there. So I quite like that scheme, but I don't know whether I'll be able to do it or not. I'll have to have a look into that. And then on the back, there's a little um, like uh, map of the sprues and some photo etch and uh, some other models in the range, I believe. Uh, yeah, we've got the Chieftain, the Chieftain Mark 10, Chieftain Mark 11, and a Chieftain Mark 5. So, I don't know what happened to 6, 7, 8, and 9. Apparently, they didn't make those. So, anyway, now we'll go over to the bench and have a look at uh, what we've got in the box. Ooh. Good stuff. So here we are with the uh, Tacom FV432 Mark 0.2 slash 1 British Armoured Personnel Carrier. Um, we've already had a look at the box art, there's just some little bits of information there. This is not a toy. Um, detailed static display, plastic models, you cannot fire real bullets with this um, and you cannot conquer the world, stuff like that. So, um, let's uh, crack it open and have a look. There was no seal on it oddly enough, so um, I don't know whether somebody's already been in and had a look. So let's, um, let's just pull everything out there. There doesn't seem to be, first impressions, there doesn't seem to be an awful lot of plastic for something that's got an interior as well. Um, but we'll see about that in a minute. I don't know much about Tacklem. I don't think I've ever reviewed one of their kits before and I don't think I've ever built one either so 
but from other things I've seen, this looks to be typical um, fare on their behalf. Let me just get rid of the mass. I should have got rid of that before. So we get a bit of uh, PE, which look to be grills, basically. Not bear grills, but uh, lame joke, I know. Um, and then we got some more PE going on there. Not going to get it out because it will get bent. A very small decal sheet, which I just, I'm not going to get out either. And let me just have a quick look. Um, it says it's made by Tacom. Looks to be fairly competent. I really don't want to. I don't really want to have to slide them out. I prefer to keep them sealed. I'll just try and give you a good close look of them, but that's that's um, obviously the sheet in front of that. Let's put them to one side. And then we've got the, uh, I do like their style of uh, destructions, instructions, whatever it's called. Um, I do like their booklets. We've got some beautiful uh, paint schemes going on um, on the first page. Some really beautiful well, getting all corn up there, let's move that out of the way. So if you really wanna see this we've got some beautiful artwork there. I quite like this one. Um, if, unless I'm mistaken, it will be at the back as well. And we've got an interior, a look at the interior. Um, and some more. Designs. Some more interior. And some colours listed there, uh, their MIG colours listed, but it wouldn't be difficult to find the conversion for them, wouldn't be difficult at all. So uh, uh, let's go through very quickly. I don't, um, I'm not built much in the way of uh, armour, so. Um, I'm not going to be able to explain the various parts to you so I'm going to bring this in a little bit um, let me see if I can bring that down and then we want to go a bit oh like that because I haven't really got the overhead camera sorted out about with this so that'll have to do I'm afraid for now um, so we just got some basic advice going on here um, so we move on. we've got a beautiful uh, parts map I'm drawn out uh, we got the numbers on there as well don't think so and then we start the build proper uh, with the bottom uh, I believe they call it the turbo or the chassis um, and it looks like we're going with the interior straight away um, 
looks to be more interior and again more interior so and then we've uh, got some more pieces going on and then we're coming into the suspension arms which are going along there and I'm guessing at some point the wheels have been made torsion bars um, where we've got the wheels starting to be made step 14 and your torsion bars and everything will start to go in with your links and uh, everything then going on the channel if we've got a jig on this or anything I don't know if you look into that, I don't know whether there is or whether they're just long sections that have been pre-done and you've just got to pin them together. Um, I really don't know. Then we come to the top parts. Um, we've got the top areas. I've got to come on. Again, more top top areas. Uh, cupola, I believe, uh, is uh, one of these areas here. Maybe you've got the machine gun on the top. General purpose machine gun. And then we've got uh, more little bits and bobs and external elements such as tow ropes, shovels and uh, so on I do believe so yeah tow ropes there yeah um, that's about it uh, lights and everything going on over in this top corner and then we've got some framework being made up to go along the top here and finish it off um, and uh, basically there we have it really that, that's, uh, that's about it and what do we sort of 35 36 steps and then we've got a nice little drawing on the back so as I say I do like the manuals um, and I like the fact that they're resealable bags as well. Again, this is one that's not going to get built for quite some time. Apologies for the rustling. I know there's people out there that really hate that sort of thing. But I'm not proficient enough yet to uh, edit all this out. So let's get to all the little bits and bobs. Beside them now. There we go. That goes in the bottom there. So then we come on to the plastic and First of all, I'm going to do one of the clear sprues. The live show has just started, so I'm running behind. Not to worry, I'm not going to rush it. I'm just going to make sure I get it done properly. Um, it's hard to tell with these. Um, let me just have a close up look. They are. Because they're sort of light and, and things like that, they're only very small. So there's not really any 
large surface area you can look at and say wow that is crystal clear what there is there does seem to be acceptable it's not um, amazing but then they're very small I don't think you would get amazing at that size because um, they're only going to be small hatches and uh, you know it's not the sort of thing that they went out and polished you know every sunday before they went into battle so you know if the windows are grubby the windows are grubby so that that's more than adequate um and i'm sure they know that when they're making these things to put on the top so that it doesn't get damaged then we come to the uh, I actually need that noise too because I think they're all re receivable bags I like the plastic on this it's uh, grey and fairly light uh, there's obviously going to be uh, something that uh, fits in on, onto here so let's um, pop you back because I can zoom in and out now I've got the ability to zoom in and out this so the top has got lots of uh, areas where there's going to be stuff added you can see straight away little um, steps and notches where things are going to go and um, the tub has got some external detailing um, it's also got a lot of internal texture work so let's have a look at the external detailing first there you can see and if we flip onto the inside you can see there's lots of let me turn that around You can see there's lots and lots of uh, texture there and knobs and gubbins and stuff that's going to go in there, little tiny bits that will make up the interior. I'm going to hazard a guess that a lot of the sprues are going to have a lot of tiny small parts on. Um, We've got some little marks underneath. I don't know what they're for yet, but I'm sure that will become apparent. And then I guess this sits on the top, but obviously there's a, there's going to be something else that maybe sits there to give it, because uh, otherwise you've got this gap. Otherwise you've got that gap there. Which is not good at all. <clears throat> My hands keep wandering off the screen, so when you're missing, um, so obviously there needs to be some other fit going on there. But that's the. Um, So 
So first screw up. Where are you? They're sealed very well. I do like these this style of um, putting them in. I like the plastic. It's quite tough, but also sort of flexible as well. Um, you're getting good value for your money on the, the on that. I can, so we've got some nice levels of detail in the, in the areas that need it. Um, so if we come in and have a look, um, let's uh, let's zoom in and try and have a look a bit around here. So um, there we go. We got a bit of uh, detail there, and a bit of detail going on there. I, I I don't know what these parts are. I don't know what these parts are exactly. Apologies for the dog. Um, and we got some uh, small components there. And if we come to the top, don't know if I can get that in, got some very small, uh, small bits there. Just trying to go around the sprue for you and try and show you um, as much as I can, so that you can get. Because uh, a lot of you will. Um, I'm sorry about the dog. Um, if it doesn't stop, I'm going to have to pause. I'm trying to get uh, through the. Uh, so we've got some sort of uh, propane tanks there. Some other information. Right, again, sorry about that. Uh, it's very well been very well done. We've got the there's riveting detail on there. Um, there's plenty of uh, we've got some foot even foot plate. There's a little bit of detail on the foot plate there. I don't know if you can see that. Can we zoom in on that? I don't know if you can see that or not. There's a little bit of metal plate detail on there, which is uh, extraordinary, really. You can see that these pieces look so much bigger when I've got them on the screen like this, and you're looking at them. I mean, just to give you an idea, some of these pieces that are looking so big. If we go down to, um, I think we're sort of, there's my nail on some, <laughs> you know, so apologies for the dirty fingernail. Oh, I have to get them clean just because I've been gardening. We're not gardening, sitting, um, pulling weeds out of pots. Or attempting to. So let's pop that one back in. Yeah. 
looking a great little kit, I will say that. It's very, very tight fit on these. And that screw is G, so we know there's going to be a few screws. Let's take that out and put that to one side. I don't know, no, this is not a replica, so we're going to take this out. tip here, once you've finished with these, these are worth keeping. So, um, we've got both internal and external detail on some of these. Uh, some of these make up external armour personnel carrier parts and others make up uh, small areas So, first of all, I don't know whether that's inside or outside. There we go. I would hazard a guess that that's outside. I don't know why, but... Um, and then we've got one above, which is very similar. Apart from it hasn't got the doors. And And then we've got um, rings around where the uh, captain or commander would sit. We've got a lovely, beautiful rendition of a gun there. Uh, I'm not sure what uh, rifle that is. It's, uh, it's belt fed by the looks of it, I would say. Yeah, that, that to me, I've put it up the right way, that to me looks like a general purpose machine gun. Um, a great bit of kit and very beautifully done. Um, this is the standard of, the standard of uh, equipment on the uh, Plastic parts these days is just phenomenal. There's uh, the likes of Meng have come along and tack them, and uh, they've really, really pushed the bar. Is that uh, broken now, or is that how that's meant to be? I'm not sure whether number 31 is broken or not. Um, need to look into that. So where my thumb is now. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I need to look into that. So, and obviously, as I said before, we've got a bit of internal detail going on on some of these. Sorry, I was just checking out whether I'm missing anything on the channel. I know I am, but uh, yeah, beautiful standard of work. I can tell this is going to be a great kit, great kit to build. And I'm beginning to understand why there was so much uh, uh, 
Now that looks to be very similar to what we just looked at. It's not identical. I'm not going to take this one. Yes, I am because it's got some grill work there. some lovely grill work on there and this is a uh, I'm guessing this is one of the driver's doors let's just pull back a bit now so we've got uh, maybe that's the front not sure Part of the front. And I'll just try and see for myself. We've got some looks to be wheel parts there. And I'm just trying to look at which is the best position for you to see some of these because some are obviously you don't want to look at some because they're, they're the back side you're going to glue it you're not going to see it and then we've got um, some more little tiny pieces up here and again they're, they're massively small just look at the size of my fingers in comparison um, which is such a shame because uh, people with fingers like mine tend to be not very delicate and um, things get broken or they get covered in glue which is more often the case I should have took this over to one side so I could have done it there we go Now then we've got a lot of replica pieces here on that's the track. Um, that's got two the same. I'm not gonna get the track out. You can see that it's basically made up of um, long sections and then you've got your front and back sections which click on curved and then I think you've got uh, a section that's made to look like it's sagging I'm not sure yeah there's your bottom I don't know I won't know until but um, that's one sprue but you've got them at that end and you've got them at that end as well and then obviously you've got plenty of these links um, which add everything together just hope they've uh, given a few extra uh, I'm not going to count them out but uh, yeah so that's uh, that's your tracks We've got two sprues in here, um, and these are both labelled B. I'm going to get one out. Yeah. 
and again these are small small parts we've got what appear to be some form of suitcases um, going on just here can we get it to there we go very very tiny so yes a lot of your time is going to be spent with tweezers uh, bits of super glue and just tiny little dabs here and there of the glue and then you're going to come in with the tweezers and you're going to add these tiny tiny little handles um, and then you're going to have to go off and add some more small stuff this looks to be like an armoured window here um, Um, so uh, yes, there's uh, we've got what appears to be a window frame, very delicate one. Oh, it's um, and the, the uh, second screw is identical to the first, so. Come on, in your bag. In your bag and off. I've just got to check that I'm actually going out the right side. So great bit there, and we're on to our last last pieces, and these are the road wheels, which uh, I'm not going to get out either because uh, you've all seen these before. We've got some road wheels going on there, plenty of them. I've got the idler, I think they're called the idler rings at the either side that can't last in there and then they uh, can they control the speed of the vehicle so let me just bring that in and then we've got some I would say these are engine parts at the top or suspension parts of some sort. So let's come back there a minute. And put them up the right way. And then we're going to zoom back in. And basically, we're looking at. Um, These here, they look like engine parts to me. They're electric, they look electrical in some way. I don't know. I don't know. So, um, there's the idlers again. Uh, that's Sprue V. So, quite a lot of stuff there. Well, I suppose that could be an A. I don't know. Nice wheels. Um, you know, there's a high high parts count, but small parts. If that makes any sense. And here's the jig. Um, I knew I'd heard there's a jig for it. And basically, you put your pits on around it. Yeah, 
buttons and tops and that, and then you um, attach it. Now there's been, unless I'm mistaken, there's been some uh, furore over this uh, jig, and um, some people are, are not using it, but uh, I'm not quite sure on the information on that, so. Um, I'd have to have a look into that, but I did. I'm sure I read somewhere that somebody had stopped. They'd stopped producing the, the, that uh, jig, but not in this one. And uh, that's it. That is the tack on armored personnel, British armored personnel carrier, and there she is. Um, Oh, we need to come back out. And there she is, fully built up. That's what she should look like. And, uh, yeah, she does look rather intimidating, doesn't she? And, uh... You can see that the where all and parts are going to go. It's going to be a, a trial, a, a testing build. This I think um, probably one I'm going to have to wait on until I've got a bit more experience behind me. Um, there's lots and lots of really tiny stuff in there. So if um, I don't know if you don't like tiny parts and fiddling about, then you know maybe this isn't the kit for you um who knows i mean i i didn't like small parts when i started but i've done them so many times now um that i am getting a lot better at my methods of using them gluing them um, and so on so uh, you've got to you've got to practice and do it um if you don't you're never going to build anything you know, you always there's always going to be something that's going to prevent you from. Oh, I can't do this because I can't do that bit on it. Um, but that's not going to be the case for me with this. Anyway, so there you go. There it is. The Tacom APC carrier, British APC carrier. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to hit like, subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up um, or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Um, I really need uh, to push my subscribers now as much as I can and uh, I thank you for taking the time to spend watching my video. Um, I've got more coming out um, and there's been some new ones out already. Um, so all that's left for me to say is happy modelling and bye for now.